So this is my latest project. MakerBot running Clipper. So I got this second hand um, and I decided I wanted to modify it. I didn't even end up using it in its stock form. So I mean where to start? Obviously I've got Clipper screen there. Um, there used to be like an, a MakerBot LCD. Um, when I got the printer it already had this G10 bed. Um, as far as the tool head, so I've got an E3D V6. There's an E3D V6 down there. Um, there is a slice engineering copperhead heatsink. Um, for the moment, I've just got reused the stock MakerBot fan. And then I've got this um, Galileo 2 extruder. So that's really cool. Um, that was a fun thing to build. Uh, I've got an EBB36 tool head board. So that's just something I wanted to try out. Um, originally I was using the stock MakerBot motherboard, the Mighty board. But I actually ended up having problems with that. Um, so now I've got an SKR3 underneath the printer. But yeah, uh, when I was using the Mighty board, um, I needed to get this so I could use the E3D thermistor because this MakerBot actually comes with thermocouples. So yeah, the Mighty board, I don't know. I, I don't know if I could have um, connected the thermistor. So yeah, probably could have somehow, but ended up going with the EBB36. And yeah, that's cool because you've just got those couple of wires. I'm not using CAN bus. Um, I don't think CAN bus is better. From what I've read, it's USB is actually faster than CAN bus. Um, a lot of people have problems with CAN bus, like reliability and just honestly, it's a pain to set up. So yeah, I've just gone with the USB connection um, and I've got it nice and secured. So I think that should be good and reliable. So obviously I've got the CPAP set up, um, the valvinator cooling duct. Um, there's a BL touch hiding in there. You can kind of see at the back. Um, this motor is not standard. That's slightly bigger because the standard one is quite small and the y-axis is definitely my limiting um, factor in speed and acceleration. Um, I think everything here you can see is fairly stock. Um, it's a Gates belt. Um, which when I got this, this the belt was really loose, so yeah, um, put a bit of extra tension on that, which is good. Um, moving to the back, oh, also yeah, I've got this um, filter for the CPAP, which I believe that's got carbon in it. Um, it's like a respirator filter. So, and then we've got the WS7040 at the back, the VZ bot mount. Um, that's the Raspberry Pi power supply and just got a on off switch there so I might switch this off and actually flip it up so you can see bottom so I've got a meanwhile power supply SKR3 currently it's got two 226 TMC226 drivers for X and Y and this is one of those old school A4 4988 I can't remember I can never remember the the number on those oh it says it on it what does that say 4988 yeah so that's for Z um obviously not ideal but it actually you know does all right it's just the Z it holds the steps um I don't know. I might upgrade it later, but it does the job, I think. Raspberry Pi 5, so we've got a lot of power there. Um, so yeah, that Pi 5 combined with the really fast STM chip there, I mean, I've got 256 micro stepping set up and 0.1 arc resolution, and yeah, it's no problems at all, so that's really nice to have that peace of mind, all that power. And then there's the CPAP controller. So I think that's actually about it. So 
thanks for watching.